Welcome back guys, it's Vengeance Hero, and we have returned with episode 6 in our FF7 remake. Let's play. We are going to jump right back in. At the end of the last episode, we uh, took out the Huntsman and uh, escaped the soldiers. And uh, got back on the train with uh, the Avalanche crew. And that's pretty much where we left off. Um, just quickly after I ended recording, I did um, I did go in and just uh, update some of my gear. Um, so basically, I had uh, just a couple of items. So instead of the bronze bangle, uh, ten defense, ten magic. Uh, I went with the iron, which is sixteen, sixteen, and also had a materia slot. Um, so. Uh, that was one thing. Also, the power wrist guards uh, just increased strength 5%. Um, and then I went in and uh, that um, iron bangle, I inserted the deadly dodge materia uh, in. So basically, that just allows me to do area damage uh, immediately after dodging uh, and attacking. Um, I do have an HP up. Uh, materia, which was a 10% boost in HP, which probably for me would be a good idea uh, since I'm still sucking pretty bad at combat. Um, but I have been using dodge quite a bit, and I think just being able to uh, do a quick uh, area of effect attack uh, right after dodging will be helpful. Uh, we're level 10, and we are jumping right in. Okay, dude. One thing that I wanted to just see was in my bangle, and I, I can't tell if there's a materia slotted in it. Um, I don't know, it might be on the ins inside piece of the arm or something. Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. I, um... Should've if you're about to unburden yourself, don't. Like Sheesh! You don't make it easy! Stop that right now! What nonsense is going on? Hey, you got a sec? You're, uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Wow. My hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or... Maybe not. You see, my daughter now lives in Sector 8, so... Maybe a little help, Cloud? Please? Did it as payback? I can't stop Don't thinking about it. The bomb I made yeah. shouldn't have produced an explosion that too, big. You know. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. Oh, you're welcome, Jesse. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <laughs> quit talking <laughs> out your ass. Uh. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. With a Gatlin gun on your arm. Really? <laughs> oh, oh, shh. Antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? 
Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> we will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized Shut up, nerd. the world. What? That is the Shinrock Oh my god. What a bunch of losers. <laughs> Them fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Man, the lighting effects are crazy. Like, the way the materia glows and... That's oh, just nuts. I didn't hear anything. You gotta believe me. What's up? You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. How'd you get here? Get this out of the way. What kind of view is that? Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What I sure hope so. Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. Seventh Heaven. Favorite after work hangout for laborers, Tifa's cocktails and cooking are big, big hits among the locals. After hours though, the place functions as a hideout for the anti-Shinra group avalanche. And that is our base. Chapter 3, Home Sweet Slum. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, ah. right. Ah. Hm. Now get some r and r You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at 7th Heaven, 
You know, where Tifa works? Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. It's strange that this, uh, the guy on the train, the middle manager for Shinra, is living in the slums. You'd think they would all be living up, uh, in the penthouse. What we got going on here? Bunch of food trucks. How much is enough fried lunch? Handful or hear me out. Oh. <laughs> no words can describe it. Apparently Shinra thinks it's a group called Avalanche. That's right. Play, it's only I've never seen it is distracting having all of the people talking kind of over each other. Um, but it definitely beats having to walk up to every single person and talk to them. Uh, like classic RPG style. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> Who is this guy? I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> You okay, buddy? <laughs> oh. Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Okay. That is interesting. A hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely what tell got here. From all the Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. What's up? Um, excuse me. Uh, due to an okay, emergency, fine. entry into this area is... Just leave. Sector 7 slums. Last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not... Get out of my way, you little shit. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Uh... <laughs> Think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <sighs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are, remembering Daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. 
but I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. <laughs> Savage. Uh, braid. About that, we should talk outside. <sighs> you don't have my money? Um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if it's actually playing, but okay. I want my money. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. What the hell? <laughs> Who the fuck oh, is this dude? It was chaotic. Just Sorry, body slams Tifa. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. That was classic. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Hmm. How'd that go? Not good at all. Apparently he was fishing for info. So you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I don't think I ever really remember what their relationship is. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. I'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. Sector seven? So, the top it wasn't us on that themselves. bad? It was. Oh, right. <laughs> and here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second Stargazer floor. Heights, hey? Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? That's presumptuous. Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what if I want to crash here? Wait a minute. That's Tifa's. <laughs> Don't, be <we> <laughs> Don't be weird. Don't be weird. Oh god. Don't be weird. She's being weird. She's popping right in. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> the a lot of the textures are definitely nothing special, like all of the doors and stuff. They're, uh, they're pretty bland, actually.
Guess it's time for introductions. Oh my god. Um, I think the introductions will have to wait until our next episode. Um, just because we're pretty much at that uh, 15 or 20 minute mark already. Um, so we're going to cut the episode off here, guys. Uh, in the next episode, we will meet up with our neighbor. I'm trying to think of who it would be. And I'm drawing blanks. Um... Yeah, so anyways, I guess we'll just have to find out uh, in the next episode. As always, I appreciate your guys' uh, support by joining me. Uh, make sure that you uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Um, leave any comments if you're playing along, or even if you're not, if you played the original and just have some kind of fond memories of the game, definitely let me know. Um, and make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Um, and I will leave you guys with that, and I hope you'll join me in the next episode, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys then.